What is up guys? Um, today I am going to St. Mary's Glacier. I'm trying to pack up all my stuff now because I want to leave like right around noon. With the weather in the mountains, you really never know what kind of weather you're gonna get. Get after it. Just getting some gas, and then we're gonna be heading down the road. Alan's pretty much paintballing today, so he's having fun with that. I'm, yeah, I'm heading to St. Mary's Glacier. Real excited. So I made it here. I made it here to St. Mary's Glacier in just. Under an hour. So we're gonna go for a hike. And uh, this place is just. Ah, oh, this place is amazing. If you've watched any of other, our other videos, um, How to Survive the Divide, we filmed that here. Um, but we didn't hike all the way up to the actual top. We just took a little cutoff and filmed in a camping area. This time, though, I'm absolutely going to hike to the actual glacier, which is going to be sweet. pre-hike um, carb load there. Um, it's really windy out, it's super sunny, but it's really windy out, so I'm glad I packed the right gear. Except for sunscreen. I forgot to pack sunscreen. Plus a sandwich. All right, so we're hiking now. We have a proper camera this time, which is awesome. Conditions are warm down here, but I'm assuming once we get to the top, we'll have uh, a little bit windier conditions there. But overall, beautiful here. Oh my goodness. Oh. I kind of forgot how much of a hike this is. It's altitude up here. That is where I'm going. Quick snack break. the ridge across that way and hopefully hike my way up like that and end up there. It is very windy though so I'm uh, very glad that I brought all the right equipment for everything. Except for sunscreen. Again, except for sunscreen. So, I mean I don't really know how else to um, give you guys such an idea as how massive that hill is. I mean, look at this. So I'm 
actually out on a lake right now. This is actually completely frozen over. Um, that little spot right there, that's where we do cliff jumping in the summer. Summit. Oh, we're so close. It's so windy out right now. Oh, oh. Well, I'm almost there. I'm just kind of breaking real quick to get some more food and some water. Ah. Oh, almost lost my hat there. Woo, saved it. Oh no, it's not that bad actually. I'm kind of in a little bit of a snow cave. A little, little, little uh, what do you call it, a little shelter. It's not that bad out. I could have been sitting around all day, watch TV, but I can earnestly say this is a lot better. Colder, but better. Those of you that live in Colorado, St. Mary's Glacier is outstanding. It is just beautiful up here. I don't really know what the altitude is that I'm at right now because I've actually never, I've actually never taken this way up the hill before. I've gone the back way, like the opposite direction, but I've never actually taken this way. So I don't really know. I can feel the altitude. All set now for for any kind of temperature out here. Got my sunglasses, little mask there. It's gonna be good. Uh, I'm on my last bit of the descent or ascent up, so probably not gonna film that because it's getting real steep and real windy. So close. So close. Ah. wasn't gonna film my last little bit of the ascent but I had a good point to make I will always side with the people that decide to do something amazing and maybe it be not so safe rather than the people that would take it too easy too safe all the time and experience nothing right here this is dangerous I'm standing about 20 feet from a cliff right there Everybody down there looks like ants. What is this? A center for ants! And I'm about to walk up a little bit of an icy terrain up there. So it's dangerous, but it's absolutely worth it. this just to say I did something today feels pretty incredible I got tempted with a really good time don't ever tempt me with a good time it's dangerous all right well this is a bad 
idea or a really fun idea. I decided to take the quick and easy way back down, which is sliding down a glacier. Whew. Oh my goodness. This is way too much fun. Oh my god. Woo. Still going. Still going. Ah. Oh. Woo. oh, that was fun. Perfect driving snack, goldfish, but not so much when you spill it in your car. That shit sucks to get out. I gotta get going, so I passed this minivan. I hate minivans. Minivans are the worst drivers on this entire planet. I finally made it back here to Denver, and there's only one thing left to do after having a big hike. Chipotle. It was windy and cold, but there will never be a faster driver than the man who just hiked a mountain in snowshoes, drove all the way home, and then waited for Chipotle. I really, yeah, that's not a lie.